our neighbors uh, that we like to, to talk to in the show is, is the intrepid Andy Sturdivant. Dr. Andy Sturdivant, historian imaginary. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andy Sturdivant, and I am the executive director and caretaker for Powder Creek House of Antiquities, a 501c3 organization located on the second floor of the Yellow House. <laughs> I preserve the stories of the Powder Creek neighborhood for posterity. It's also where I live. You may have heard that I am a doctor. It's not true. I do not hold a doctorate of any kind. What I do have, a framed photo of myself with Mayor McCheese in 1992. <laughs> We were young then. We thought we were going to save the world. <laughs> How foolish we were. In addition to that, I have something far more valuable than any doctorate or framed photo with the most important meat-based product reformer of our time. <laughs> An insatiable curiosity about the mysteries of the past. On that note, for this afternoon's show, your non-married domestically partnered host, Jeff and Steph, have asked me to speak to you on the subject of reverse the sectaries. Now, Powder Keg has a long and fascinating history of reverse vasectomies. Reverse vasectomies? No, no. Resurrection, Dr. Sturdivant. <laughs> we wanted you to talk about resurrections. Right. Those right. two things don't even really sound alike. Oh. Well, I'm very sorry. My intern, Brittany, left me a message that said reverse vasectomies. I actually have the note she left me right here. Uh, Clearly says, Dr. Sturdivant, Herbach, and Steph want a lecture on reverse vasectomies. Next show, LOL, OMG, heart shape, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I come to think of it, reverse vasectomy sounded a little off, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Doctor, I've noticed that Brittany's been a little out of it lately. Oh, God, you're telling me. <laughs> Since that new Lady Gaga video came out, it's all she thinks about. She's too distracted to do anything. She sits around during office hours making sunglasses out of cigarettes. It's just... <laughs> It's terrible. Um, yeah. I'll have to have a talk with her. You know what? Like she, she's a really great kid, though. Someday she will make a, a fabulous visiting adjunct professor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, between you and me, Brittany will make a really adequate visiting adjunct lecturer someday. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I had a half hour in reverse vasectomy. He's totally ready to go. Are you sure you don't want to hear it? Yeah, um, actually, we're very sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, fine, fine. Know. You know what? You can improvise. Resurrections, all right. Let me tell you about a story. Let me tell you a story about a family that lived in this house way back in 1967. Ooh. All right, now this was a family that, uh... Yes? It was a family that, uh... Yeah, yeah. It was a family that... It was a family that was a four-piece 1960s monkey-style rock band! Oh, Are you serious? Yeah. Totally serious. Oh my god, it's so exciting, all right? So 1967, okay? I did the Vietnam War. The liberals at Powder Cake Public Television were looking for a civic-minded alternative to the monkeys for the local market. They had the monkeys, they were too subversive, too radical, all that superfluous wool and headwear. You know, too much for the kids. So they thought they could put together a group of four handsome, shaggy and musicians that lived in a house together and filmed their zany exploits as they lived and learned and loved. But the idea was to reach the youth market and brainwash them into progressive, moderate, uh, democratic ideals with catchy riffs and non clothing. And this house was where that TV series was filmed. That band? The Democratones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I remember seeing this show in syndication. Yeah. God, it was so boring. Yeah. But such, such, such in a fat way. Boring and fab, just like the Democrats in the 60s. Yeah. Unexpected guests were always dropping by. Hubert Humphrey would drop in and explain the importance of presenting communism in Southeast Asia. Yes. And then a guy, a guy in a gorilla outfit would do the mashed potatoes on a surfboard. Oh, that guy. And then the boys would play their hit single, When You're Around. A great society. Uh, and surely, you remember the immortal theme song. Here we come, walking down the street. We choose to go to the moon. Not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. Actually, you know what? I'm not here to talk about reverse vasectomies. It was a smoke screen to distract you from the real attraction. You guys want a resurrection? Yes. I got a 
massive resurrection right here just for you. Oh my, I can't get my arms around it. For the first time in 40 years, I'm brought back together, resurrected if you will, a certain man that once lived in this house and lived and loved and partied what? together on syndicated television for the first time since the Johnson administration, the Democrito! Totally gonna be worth it. All right. Right. I'll see you later. All right.